very important um, because it provides emergency funding to uh, small businesses across our state, uh, especially focused on rural, veteran-owned, women-owned, minority-owned businesses. And by the way, that includes um, outfitters, those associated with tourism, so many small businesses that were impacted by the pandemic. We, The fund has already distributed $25 million uh, to primarily minority, veteran, and women-owned businesses across the state. Uh, the businesses can get grants of up to $15,000. Um, that uh, is on top of, of course, the federal programs, PPP, both rounds. But this is really a perfect fit, especially for companies that might not have qualified for that second round of PPP. Uh, these are one to 10 person companies usually focused on helping small businesses. All, uh, like, you know, I met, for instance, a small business the other day. They got the first round of PPP, but they didn't get the second because they actually started in mid-2019, so they didn't have the full operating history to show that they were down enough to get the second round of PPP. So this fills in the gaps. Um, and uh, it's really designed to help some of our smallest businesses build back strong. Uh, and that first $25 million they got out really hit the mark. A majority of it went to uh, women and minority-owned businesses. Uh, there is more than enough need for this additional $15 million across our state. Uh, I'm really excited that uh, to thank Re Representative Herod for her leadership in seeing this through. And I'll turn it over to Representative Herod. Well, thank you, Governor, and thanks to everyone who is here today. Um, today we are signing a couple of bills, and this first one is uh, $15 million for small businesses. I'm so proud to have partnered with the Governor's Office and with Energize Colorado that pulls in uh, state dollars, public dollars, and private do dollars to meet the small business needs of Colorado. Um, Energize has focused on ensuring that minority-owned businesses, black-owned businesses, queer-owned businesses are able to make it through this very tough time together. Um, and I'm proud that we're able to use stimulus dollars to infuse more cash into the system. For the businesses out there that have already applied who did not receive the full amount, I want you all to know that you will now be eligible to receive up to the full amount of $15,000 to support your business. Um, additional businesses will be eligible to apply. And again, this money will be matched um, by the private sector as well. And so it's just such an honor to be able to do this work um, and to make sure that Colorado's recovery doesn't just take us back to where we were, but brings us forward to where we need to be. Um, also want to acknowledge the fact that we are standing in a minority owned business as well. And so uh, while you're here about the nonprofit side of Lincoln Hills, um, this business is this place is also supported by a for profit business that makes sure that all the funding um, that they receive here goes back into the community, which is so very important. Um, yes, thank you. <laughs> So we're so looking forward to getting this funding out into the community. And with that, let's get it signed. Thanks, everyone. All right. Let's make it official. It's official. Congratulations. <laughs> I also, uh, in addition to Representative Herod, I want to thank Representative Doherty and Senator Winter for their work on this Absolutely bill. Absolutely critical. Yeah. Critical. Thanks, Steph. Thank you.